Cabinet time. As uh, most of you know, cabinetry and uh, the, the carpentry side of things is my primary uh, duty, <laughs> my primary work that I do on buses and vans and shuttle buses and all the fun stuff that I do. Uh, so we're finally getting around to uh, some fun uh, cabinet design. So let's talk about what kitchen we got. And, uh, this is sort of the center of the kitchen. Going to be cabinetry here for the stove, cabinetry here for the sink over on this side. Has got a, a cabinet here, and she's got two freezers um, that are one will be used as a refrigerator, the other as a freezer. So we're still working out the configuration of how those will be. Talking about having those where the uh, the countertop will actually be able to lift open to get to those, and so we're kind of figuring out the right, best so layout. Trying to work for those. out the uh, layout for the kitchen area, and uh, this provides almost an eight by eight foot area for the kitchen. Uh, which doesn't want to have like a straight shot running right through the middle so um, wants it to kind of weave through and so a little tip for you if you're uh, trying to work out your layout and you got the open area like this uh, make yourself some templates um, I've got a template for well, she's got two the same size freezers that one will be a freezer the other will be a fridge and then I cut out the size of our stove uh, and then also the sink so that you can move those around, play with your space a little bit, and uh, figure out, you know, standing in the space, what actually feels right and what actually looks, you know, makes sense, you know, with a walking pattern going through, you know, kind of get a feel for, you know, exactly how things might work, and you can rearrange things, shift things around, you know, before you commit to a full build and before you start building your cabinets, it's a handy way to work out the details for uh, what you got to do gotten going on the galley or the kitchen area so got this area figured out the sink is gonna sit right here and uh, at first we were gonna mount it the whole this cabinet was gonna be sitting over here a little further and this cabinet which is gonna have the drop-in range and cooktop the Dometic sitting in there they were both gonna be kind of pushed together in this corner um, but uh, we realized we could maximize our space a little bit better and so we slid it out about six inches this way and this one also about six inches that way and it gave us room for these guys so since the stove is right here we've got our little pantry here put this guy together so a uh, place for all the uh, spices and herbs and things and uh, oils and vinegars and uh, the, the sink is actually the peninsula sticking out here has uh, these two big panels on the ends. Again, this is going to have a, a freezer, stand-up freezer here and over there with the lid opening up this way. Um, and so the these panels on the back of the cabinet here will act as a backsplash as well. And they, they, they line up, as you can see, the same height with the, the rest of it kind of running around. And uh, they'll have a, a cap, small cap piece on top of there with the uh, Nice little uh, light shining down, little LED light. But uh, basically, because the, both of the freezers are there, you want to make sure they have plenty of air ventilation. And so I'm prepping the pieces. See, that one's already got a couple of big holes cut. I'm doing the same with this one. And what we're going to do is back those up with the uh, nice rattan wicker stuff that'll fill in the, you know, across the gap like that, across the bot inside, attach right to the back of these panels. And that way they'll uh, keep some nice airflow and look spiffy in the process in the front as well. So it we'll should get good airflow through for the freezers. So keep those uh, compressors working well. So getting the cabinets going, I'm ready to start making some drawers. But uh, kind of give you another quick peek. Got this area finished up yesterday. Um, there is uh, going to be a microwave sitting in this this space, and then a big drawer down here. Three more drawers here. Three more drawers over here. And again, this is just gonna be capped off like this with these uh, nice little finished screws so that these, this panel can easily be removed to put the, this will be the refrigerator on this side with the lid opening on top. 
Um, this one will have the freezer. That side, I created the opening on that side to slide the freezer in from that side, since we, obviously that wouldn't work so good with the cabinetry over here. And we worked out here now, uh, we've got two bins coming, one for trash, one for recycling. And so kind of created a nice smaller little cabinet over here that's gonna have two more drawers um, up on top. But uh, big drawer under the bottom here, big drawer there, our other pull out. So we're gonna have lots of storage in the, in the kitchen here. in Florida um, but uh, made some real good progress here let me show you what we so did those are the end panels here for the uh, peninsula um, got all of our uh, drawer glides are in um, a lot of today was helping the electrician we had an actual a real live electrician come and do a bunch of the hooking up here for us got the got a uh, GFCI here on the countertop sink is right here you always want to have a a circuit breaker uh, outlet as close as possible, anywhere within six feet of a sink, preferably. And uh, a couple other outlets uh, situated uh, down there, another one over here. And these are all the ones that have the little USB plugs on them also, which is kind of nice, including this guy down here. So you can easily plug in for, uh, you know, to charge your phone or charge other things. Or um, nowadays, again, there's all these different uh, devices, lights and things that all can be plugged right into USB and use lower power. So the, ca the kitchen coming along really good and um, tomorrow I'll be making drawers, getting those situated and, uh, and then she's gonna start getting things painted up and uh, get ready to get this thing on the road. Well, there you go. Still got a bunch of details to finish up, but uh, give you the rough idea of what we gotta do. And again, the big thing that we uh, like to think of in the process of this is always be flexible. Um, you always need to, uh, make changes, make adjustments as you go, and uh, you just do what you got to do and uh, make it work for you and make it fit what your style is of travel, what your style of life is, and uh, make it make it work for you, and uh, it, you'll be happy you did. So thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, subscribe, hit the uh, notification button to see the entire build, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. You're an osprey. Storm's blowing in.